and I'll show you how the results vary. So I go to this in the fluid property. So I have taken this as model is uh, incompressible. So I can choose this as a compressible also for the initial condition for the inlet. The speed is okay. But since the transport properties which I have chosen is diffusion is little bit high the practically it is comparatively less so I can choose the value as a 5 and for the this if you if the water flow intensity is high if you wish to wash out all this contamination you have to increase this the inlet flow so it's already high but I can make it as a 20 pascal so with this if I again check so I can go for only 50 because I see that because within 15 you can easily watch this or I go from 60 so I can compute it again so you can see that the convergence is take place but still the convergence is little bit slow so the finite element works but it actually depend upon your conditions the boundary conditions your the parameter values which you have chosen so it may take a time comparatively it will take a uh, more time as compared to the earlier conditions since your velocity is high so it it will take a time the grid formation is will change rapidly and it will take a time so i'll wait for a while the results is there i go for the concentration at one place there is the value is this when we go on changing this this is very slightly so you can see the basic difference here since the flow speed is very high the contamination is still there but it doesn't affect the entire fluid entire flow of water so it actually depends upon the flow of water since the flow of water is very high and the diffusion constant value is very less so effect is very less so this is the important that how the uh, physics will take place so one more thing i will discuss today that the selection of this module so if i go for the new file new model the same property i will uh, study so i wish to make a new file yeah new file for this console So now what I have done, I have chosen the transport of fluid formula first and lamina later. Now question is, does this will give the same output as I have done it earlier? So the answer is yes. So if you go for this type of this, I, I wish to verify it whether it will give the same answer or not. So I will do the same result very quickly with this. Point. So same thing I will do. You can skip this. I am here. So when you selected this velocity, this velocity field SPF is also showing here. So it hardly matters whether your laminar flow, you haven't give the inputs of the laminar flow. It still gives you this option. So this is the wonderful thing with the console that whatever the selections you have done. So uh, the ordering is not important. So I'll go for the velocity field and similarly I can change the value as uh, the earlier is 2 and I will complete it now. So now I have completed all the database and for the multi physics you can see that flow coupling will take place. When you go for this field you can see that it automatically take this U as the source and this is this. So it doesn't matter which the way you are taking it firstly solve this laminar flow then the velocity of U will uh, used in this transport of dilute solution. So next thing is same as the machine. So I will finish it and then come back with the result. So the results is here now so you can check the results. So yeah value is, is exactly the same. So I will go for the 60. 
so similarly you can go for the other sections and this is uh, all about for today's lecture and, and hope you will like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel Saturday Grana have a nice day